Hello dear students, welcome back to Royce and Creations YouTube channel. In this class, let us analyze SSLC Mathematics Taluk level preparatory exam January 2025 question paper along with its answer. Those who are watching first time, please subscribe and share with your friends. So, uh, dear students, even though it is now English medium, ali, Ganita, uh, mathematics question paper, and uh, uh, complete key answers to the discussion. Maadana, Four alternatives are given for each of the following question. Choose the correct alternative and write the complete answer along with its letter of alphabet. So, uh, first, mainly MCQ questions, end questions. Rate. Question number one If the HCF of 21 and 28 is 7, then their LCM is. So, you will know. 21 मते 28 दो HCF हो 7 आद रहे आगा दर LCM एन आगते so take out so इदन तगोड 21 मते 28 अना divide मारता होद रहे we will get 84 so LCM नमक्सी गोंत दो 84 आगते so हागा गी न्यू calculation अना माड़ी the answer is 84 option B is the right answer second question if the two lines intersect each other then the condition satisfy so here the line intersect aakta ide ant helidre alli condition yen irutte ant helidre a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 agirutade hagagi option c a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 is the right answer next third question if an is equals to 4n plus 2 then the 10th uh, term of an ap is so you nodi an is equal to 4n plus 2 10th term ant helidre so in the place of n you substitute 10 so, 4 times are 40, 40 plus 2, 42 agate. So, the answer is 42 is the right answer. Fourth question, the formula to find the length of an arc is. So, to find the length of an arc, always we are going to use theta by 360 into 2 pi r. Agagi, option D, theta by 360 into 2 pi r is the right answer. Next, fifth question, in a given figure, if... Angle APB is equals to 80 degree, then AOB is dash. So, you know, angle AOP 80 degree and tell you So, we have to find out angle AOB and now find out marbe kagate. So, namge AOB very easy. So, illi 80 degree then tell you So, illi form of 90 degree akin re. Illi tangent form of the it forms a perpendicular. So, 90 degree. Aga gillu 90 degree, lu 90 degree. 90 plus 90 plus 80. This to na kursi. So, 360 in the minus madre will get 100 degree. Aga gi option ye 100 degree is the right answer. Next question number 6. The circumference of a cylindrical base is 44 centimeter and its height is 7 centimeter. Then its curved surface area is. So, curved surface area formula when na haki. Find out Mardaga Namgi Sigonto 308 centimeter square agate. Nagagi option A, right answer. Seventh question Sides of two similar triangles are in the ratio 4 is to 9. Areas of these triangles are in the ratio. Ready? Two similar triangles are there, right? So, our uh, ratio is 4 is to 9. We have to find the area. So, we have a formula. So, we will get the answer 16 by 81. 4 4 is 16, 9 9 is 16, uh, 81. So, we will get the So, the option D is the right answer 16 is to 81. Next question number 8. In the given figure, the value of theta is dash. So, you know, theta is there. So, we have to find out the value of theta. So, we will get a sin theta. If you are taken sin theta. So, the, what is sin theta? Sin theta, sin theta divided by hypo, uh, opposite by hypotenuse. Agagi we get 60 degree. So, agagi theta value will be 60 is the right answer. So, that's the multiple choice question. Next, the second main question answer the following eight questions will be there question number nine write the number of zeros in the given graph y is equal to p of x see here zero on the head of the it should test the x axis so one two three four so the zeros of the given graph is we'll get four is the right answer Next question number 10. Find the roots of the equation x minus 1, x plus 3 is equal to 0. So, roots and then we find out. Very easy. x is equal to 1, x is equal to minus 3. That's it. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर लेवन इफ पी ऑफ ई इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स देन फाइंड पी ऑफ ई बार सो वेरी इजी वन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स मार्ड दे विल गेट जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स फोर इज द राइट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व इन ए ट्रायंगल ए बी सी डी ई पैरल टू बी सी एंड डी ई इज इक्वल टू सिक्स सेंटीमीटर बी सी इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर एंड ए डी इज इक्वल टू फाइव सेंटीमीटर देन फाइंड ए बी टेन सेंटीमीटर्स बरते सो तेल थियरम यूज मे विल गेट द आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन रईट द फार्मुला टू फैंड द वालूम आफ रईट सर्क सर्क्युल कॉन् दट इज वन बै थ्री इंटू पै आर् स्क्वेर हेच इज द रईट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वाट इज द डिस्टेंस ऑफ द पॉइंट मैनस एट काम थ्री फ्रम द एक्स आक्स सो फ्रम द एक्स आक्स अंत कैली विल गेट द आंसर दट इज थ्री यूनिट इज द रईट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इफ दे आस्ट ओरिजिन यू हव टू टेक द फॉर्मुला स्क्वेर आउट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस वाई स्क्वेर बट दे आस्ट फ्रम एक्स एक्स सो डायरेक्टली यू कैन रेट थ्री सेंटीमीटर एवैल्युएट वन माइनस टेन स्क्वेर फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री सो टेन फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री अंत विल गेट आंसर इज वन सो वन मैनस वन इज आलव जीरो ओनली सो जीरो अंत बरद्रे सा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन रईट द एंपेरिकल फार्मुला दट Relates mean, media, and mode. That is, mode three median is equals to two mean plus one mode. So these are all one marks question answers. Next third main answer the following questions here eight questions will be there. Each questions carry two marks. Seventeenth question prove that three plus root five is an irrational number. So first let us assume three plus root five is a rational number. So three uh, plus root five is equals to p by Q therefore P and Q are co-primes, so Q should not equal to zero. Therefore, what happened if you are taken three left side, so our right side it will come plus will become minus. So therefore, root five is equal to P by Q minus three. So take LCM, then we'll get P minus three Q divided by Q. So therefore, here P minus three Q by Q is rational, but root five is an irrational. Therefore, this is a contradictory. To our assumption, therefore, three plus root five is a irrational number. It's very important, and it is a compulsory question for your preparatory and final exam. Next question number eighteen. Solve the given pair of linear equations by elimination method. So there are the elimination method. So you go with the elimination method. Two x plus y is equals to eight. X minus y is equals to one. So Consider equation one and two. Therefore, here plus a is there. Here directly you need not to add or subtract. Directly you cancel these two. So therefore, three x is equals to nine. So x is equals to three. So substitute x is equal to three in equation one or equation two. Then we'll get the y value. Therefore, here substituting the value in the equation one. Therefore, we'll get y is equals to two. So very easy. And these questions are compulsory question. There is no changes at all. So practice thoroughly, children. Next question number nineteen. Find the quadratic polynomial whose zeros are five and minus two. So here in this question, they have given zeros of the polynomial five and minus two. So we have to find the quadratic polynomial. So therefore here, alpha and beta of the zero polynomials are given. That is alpha is equal to five, beta is equal to minus two. Therefore alpha plus beta is equal to five minus three is equal to two is equal to three. And alpha beta is equals to five into minus two is equal to ten. Therefore, the required quadratic polynomial is x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta. So you write the values x square minus three x minus ten. So it's very easy to write, and you'll get easily. You'll get the marks. Question number twenty. Find the roots of the equation x square plus seven x plus ten is equal to zero by Factorization method, or find the nature of roots. The equation 2x square plus 7x plus 10. So first we'll go with the factorization method. So the given the equation x square plus 7x plus 10 is equal to zero. So multiply it, madre. 10 bar beko add madre 7 bar beko. So 5 to the 10. Therefore x square plus 5x plus 2x plus 10 is equal to zero. So take Common outside, so in this two uh, there is a common is x and here two is the common. So take it outside, so then we'll get x plus five and x plus two that is equal to zero. So x is equals to five, x is equals to minus two. 
and they have given one more question for that question that is find the nature of the roots so 2x square plus 7x plus 3 here a is equals to 2 and b is equals to 7 and c is equal to 3 so discriminant delta is equals to b square minus 4ac therefore substitute the value then we will get 49 minus 24 therefore 25 it is greater than 0 therefore the roots are real and distinct next question number 21 find the sum of first 20 terms of an arithmetic progression 3 comma 8 comma 13 so they are asking sum of the first 20 arithmetic so we have to find out yes then so in the given ap 3 8 13 so a is 3 and d is 5 and n is 20 so substituting the equation sn is equals to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d therefore 20 by 2 2 into 3 plus 30 20 minus 1 into 5 so substitute multiply 19 into 5 is a 95 therefore 2 3 is a 6 so 1 not 1 into 10 murder 1000 10 agate agagi s20 is equal to 1010 next question number 22 find the distance between the points a comma 2 comma minus y and b 6 comma minus 8 using distance formula this is the direct question easily you can solve children so here given x1 and y1 and x2 and y to make it first then we have a formula d is equals to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so substitute the value that is 6 minus 2 whole square plus minus 8 plus y whole square therefore after subtraction we will get 4 square minus 3 square so 16 plus 9 root 25 so root 25 is nothing but 5 therefore d is equals to 5 units so easily you can score the marks student so practice the formula and you understand the question then it is very easy to get the marks also question number 23 using prime factorization method find hcf and lcm of 24 and 30 also show that hcf into lcm is equal to a into b for that they have given one more option first you have to solve this so here let us a is equals to 24 and b is equal to 30 that we know that so now you take the lcm so here uh, 24 and divide by 2 12 the 2 6 the 2 3 the other 30 and the mother they will get 2 15 the 3 5 the. so now here you can see 2 into 3 and 2 into 3 therefore we will get 6 so hcf of uh, 24 and 30 is 6 other it the lcm in other 2 uh, 6 into 2 into 2 into 5 so then we will get 120 so hcf 120 hcf uh, 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 6 lcm 120 a 24 b 30 so they are asking to find verify hcf into lcf is equal to a into b so verify madhre will get 720 into 720 lcm is equal to hcf uh, lhs is equal to rhs agate. therefore it is proved so either another solve madi or they are given one more option uh, three bells toll at interval of 12 15 and 18 minutes respectively if they start tolling together after what time will they toll together again so first now we lcm anna kandit kula namakla so lcm anna maadudre namge gotha agate that will get 180 so after 180 minutes they will toll again ella ottige bell aftave ottige seyirthave aga Next question number 24. Find the coordinates of the midpoint of the line joining the points A 4,6 and B 10,18. So for that, so x1, y1, x2, y2, six. they asked midpoint. Therefore midpoint formula P of x, y is equals to x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Therefore, substitute the value children 4 plus 10 by 2, 6 plus 18 by 2. Therefore, we will get 7, 12. 